greet everybody. My name is Queen Lit. I'm a gospel minister. Thank you so much for joining. Please share this video because together we are saving thousands of people, millions of people out of abusive marriages. We thank God so much for a successful funeral of the late minister Osinachi Wanchuku. Everything was successful. We watched it. We saw how everything went. God bless the entire world. People of Igbo land, entire Nigeria. You are so awesome. You mourned our dear sister. We all mourned together and everything was good. The Bible says in all things, we should give thanks to God. We know that prayers have been lifted for the family and we will keep remembering the family in prayers. We know that everything is now done. But I have in, an information on my desk as I'm talking to you. I have received an information and I cannot sit on this information. I want your views on this information. I want your contribution on this information. So I'm here to share with you. Please bring your ideas. Bring your view about it. Okay? Write them under the comment section. The information is about the barrier of the late minister Osinachi Wanchuku. Now, according to the information, it is an abomination for her to be buried on her father's compound. Her burial is an abomination. In the info, the person said because she was married to Mr. Peter Wanchuku, she was supposed to be buried on her husband's compound and not on her father's compound. The only way she will be allowed to bury to be buried on her father's compound is when the marriage is no more, when the marriage is divorced, okay? When the marriage is dissolved, when there is no marriage. And for that reason, they have to go back and dig her grave and perform that ritual according to tradition. I have said it, I have told you that tradition is a spirit, okay? And it has a covenant with the people of the land who believes in it. I know that uh, Minister Osinachi Wanchuku is a Christian. So I don't know whether she's supposed to go through these traditions or she's not supposed to go through. She was going to church, she was singing, and we know that she was all over the place with her spiritual activities connected to Christianity. Because according to the information, uh, since she's been buried on her father's land, the ghosts will hunt the family left behind. That is what the information says. And the grave must be dig. Otherwise, it will not be good for the family. So they have to dissolve the marriage and then she will be allowed to be buried on that land. But we all saw how they, they received her corpse on her father's compound with joy, with happiness. The way they received her these same people. And now the tradition is saying it is an abomination that she's been buried and she must be a dick. Her grave must be dick for her to go through that ritual of uh, dissolving the marriage so that she'll be buried there. Otherwise, she must be buried on her husband's compound. Then somebody also said what the person is saying is not true because she's been buried on her father's compound even though she's not been divorced and she's still buried uh, the Iwanchuku and not her father's name because they are compensating her with that. She went through abuse, she went through torture, domestic violence, and for that reason, that is her compensation. So it is allowed, according to tradition, to be buried on that land. This tradition that I always talk about. Tradition came to meet us, okay? Human beings created tradition. So now you can sit down for tradition to bind you. I am not saying tradition is not good. Some traditions are very good, but some are errors. I have said it over and over and over again. That is why I want your views on this. If you watch the Bible critically, okay, Jesus broke tradition so many times. Let me tell you, according to the customs of the Jews, people who are having sickness, like leprosy, strain diseases, are people considered to be unclean they have sinned and because of that they have they have received this uh, uh, misfortune and people are not allowed to associate with them but when jesus came he broke all those protocols 
the man at Bethesda who was there for 38 years. She was considered to be a sinner and not clean. And Jesus healed him on a Sabbath day, which was forbidden according to the tradition of the Jews. They complained about it. But Jesus never mind. He rebuked them rather. The same way in Matthew chapter 8 verse 1 to 4. A man with leprosy. Jesus healed him by touching him. Those people were forbidden on that land. According to tradition, culture, customs. They are not clean. So they stay outside the town. And people must not associate with them. But Jesus broke all those traditions. So I am asking, as a Christian, is she supposed to go through all this? We remember how she was maltreated by her husband. She was not allowed to spend her own money that she worked for. She was not allowed to sit in her own car. She was tied up, beaten, and then uh, they will call her children. The husband will call her children to come and beat her. He will film, he will be beating her and be filming. A whole lot of torture that the woman went through. What her twin sister came to say, what the family have already said, her colleagues in the music industry, what they have said, you have listened to my audio, her voice and all those things. She went through a lot. So I believe we should allow this lady to rest in peace. And now this matter has come out again, that they have to go and dig her grave and bury her on her father's compound, on her husband's compound. Otherwise they must dissolve the marriage, they must be divorced before she could be buried on her father's compound. Mr. Peter Wanchuku is on trial. Whether he will go scot-free or remain in prison, nobody knows. So, should he, uh, should should she be waited or she, she, she should be kept at the mock until this man comes out of prison or he comes uh, home to dissolve the marriage or how is it going to be? That is why I want your view on this. Your contributions are welcome. Tradition is not older than human beings. We came here, tradition and culture. We came here and we created them. You cannot go scot-free if you have ties with them, if you have covenants with them. Tradition is a spirit. So if you have a covenant with them, if you go, ac if you go according to their, their rules and regulations, you are free. But if you go contrary to that, they will fight you and they may harm you or kill you. Because you believe in them. But if you believe in supreme God, God Almighty, like our sister, Minister Osinachi. I don't know. So please, share your views, write your comments, let us know what you think about. This is too strange. My brothers and sisters, all over Nigeria, especially the people of Igbo land, share the views. Let us get something i want your views on this i can give a lot of things here but i don't want to talk alone because this is something that is concerned with a group of people i don't want to talk for anybody that is why i want you to share your views on this particular issue god bless you so much and share this video it will bless people's lives it will save people out of abusive marriages don't stay there and die so that after you die, all these things. Because even now they are uh, seeing how to take the children through school and all those things. The family is putting themselves together and, and these informations are also coming. It is headache. It is not an easy thing. So don't die in abusive marriage. Make complaints to people, the nearest police station. Tell people about your problems. Scream, shout. Don't sit there for somebody to kill you. So that you leave your children behind. And then you will die with all that God deposited in you to bless mankind. My name is Quinlet. Please share this page. Follow the page Quinlet Music and like the page Quinlet Music. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, follow. And then on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. Because we have so much for you, including songs. You can watch our songs, Wind Blow. It is blessing lives. It is touching lives. It is redeeming people from power of tradition. God bless you so much.